Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today. My name is Carrie and here on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of budget friendly decorating, makeovers, thrift store shopping, you name it, it's on my channel. So I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy. So please consider subscribing before you leave. Um, but today's video is going to be a quick little, I always say quick, it's never quick. <laughs> it's gonna be a dining room refresh. All right, so here is the current state of the dining room. Um, I do think that it's really pretty and cozy. It is a little messy right now. I haven't, I didn't clean. I didn't figure it was necessary <laughs> just because I'm going to be moving stuff around anyway, but I kind of want to clear this wall. Just do like some Wayne's coating or Wayne's scotting. I don't know how you say it, but I just want to do like some cool accent wall maybe, and then just keep it simple. So already, I feel like it just looks so much bigger in here. Oh my gosh, it just looks so much bigger. Um, so that's the old TV mount because the TV used to be on that wall. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I don't know, I, I don't know, <laughs> it looks weird. It looks super weird right now without anything on the wall. I've gotten the hutch out of the way. I left that cabinet over there for right now just because I get off my back just because I have to have my uh, Wi-Fi and internet connection stuff somewhere. What do you want from me? Is your lips stuck? Your lips stuck? Where's your toys? Where's your toys? Go get your toys. But anyway, um, I need to get some trim work to do right here on this wall. So that way I think it'll make it like feel cozy again and not so like cold. Cause right now it just looks a little cold in there without any I don't know, anything to warm it up, so. Look at this, look at this girl. You just might as well have been a human. You should have just been a human. Where's your toy? Go get your ball. Go, oh, it's right here, I see it. All right, so right here I'm just doing like a little rough draft of the dining room and like what I have in mind. Sometimes when I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, I kind of just draw like a little picture just to give me a little idea. Okay, <clears throat> so I wanted to show you kind of like a little rough draft of what my plan is, what my idea is. So, this will be the wall with the accent wall, and then above it there I just have like four frames. I think it would be nice to be able to have a spot to put like some family photos. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, so I'm going to measure out this wall, but basically I'm going to be buying some of these boards. Oops, sorry, my little thing. Um, these are the... MDF molding boards They're just really easy to work with and cut and stuff. So I'm gonna get some of those and do that So we're gonna head to Lowe's and get all the stuff that we need some nails caulk um, Filler for the wall to fill in all these holes where that little TV stand mount was and um, Yeah, and we're gonna get started tomorrow morning So I was on the hunt for the same boards that I used for a previous project and I knew they were a lot more inexpensive but then as I was walking down the aisles I also found these table legs and a tabletop and I will be building a desk in a future video just so I have like a little area to keep my computer and all of my work stuff. Okay, <clears throat> I finally found them. <laughs> Took me a minute. But see these are a lot cheaper and they'll work just fine. So 
Oh, let's see. We have the little ones down here for five forty-seven. So I could do. I actually like that. And then do the top, and the bottom would be this one. All right, so my very first measurement that I took was the width of the wall. These are the boards that are gonna go on the top and bottom that the other boards are gonna sit in between. I decided to do it this way just because I felt like it would be a lot easier. However, I've seen people cut all the vertical boards first. It just really depends on your preference, I guess. But after getting both of these cut, I'm gonna get these up on the wall and then I will go through and measure out each individual vertical board because our walls are a little wonky um, they have like some bumps and stuff and i'll show you that in just a moment Alright, so I am mid project right now. I've already cut some wood and um, realized that I forgot my nail gun up at the ranch. So we're gonna run up there and go get that. And it sucks because it's good, it's a good distance drive, so it's gonna take a lot of time out of my day that I don't have, <laughs> but it happens. But while I'm there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some other tools that I left up there. I kind of left a lot of stuff because it was a good drive back and forth and I need to gather that stuff up anyway and clean it all up. So oh, that's what we're gonna do. And then as soon as we get back, I will finish up this wall. That's really... That's really... Hi. Hey bear. All right, so right here I am going to make sure that my boards are level. I did put tape up along the level line um, and I bought that little level from Lowe's. It's actually pretty nifty. It has like a little tack that you can stick into the wall and it'll hold it in place. But remember earlier when I was telling you that my walls are a little wonky? Check this out. <laughs> this board will not go flush against the wall because there is like waves in my wall literally so it's fine you won't even notice because once everything is all done i will be going through adding caulk and paint and it'll have a nice smooth finish all right so right here i was just double checking my work with this level making sure that this board was as straight as possible i really didn't want to have to redo this um by the way i'm using my craftsman 18 gauge nail gun and i'm using one and a quarter nails that it came in like a little pack it says to use two inch, but I really don't feel like it was necessary. I just make sure to kind of go in at an angle and I feel like it holds just fine. So after getting all of this leveled out, I just popped in a few nails. Later on, I go through and I add a whole bunch, but I just wanted to kind of like hold it all in place. And then I went through and started measuring out my vertical boards that go in between. Now, everybody's wall is going to be a little bit different depending on how tall you want your um, Wayne's coating or accent wall to be. So keep that in mind. What my measurements are are not going to be the same as yours. I also found that because my walls are a little off, each individual board had to be cut a little bit different. I mean, some of them were just like a hair off and I had to just take like a sliver off with the saw. But honestly, this project is super easy. Anybody can do it. It just takes a little bit of patience and time. And since this is my third or yeah, fourth, third time doing a accent wall like this, I do feel like I'm getting a little bit better at it. And honestly, just with time, things get a little easier. You still hit your hiccups. Don't get me wrong. Trust me, there was a lot of times where I was like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? <laughs> I think that with every project. But 
over time, things do get easier. Measurements get easier, cuts get easier, but always make sure that you are being safe. Um, be extra careful. Make sure you unplug your equipment, wear safety glasses and gloves when necessary. Sometimes I forget to mention that, but I wanted to be sure to include that into today's video. <laughs> um, but here I'm going through and just making sure that all my measurements are correct, and then I will start nailing up these boards. majority of the work done I still have a lot to do I need to do all the caulking all the painting lots of stuff I still need to level up all the boards as well I only put a nail on the top of them just so that way they were where they needed to be so I didn't have to keep remeasuring um, so basically what I did was I just went through and measured each board in between to make sure they were all even some of them are slightly off but it's okay no one's gonna know except for me um, and now you guys because I just told you but now that I'm done with this, I am in love with it. Love it so much. I love a good like accent wall. Zoe, hi. Yes, everyone, everyone loves the Zoe. I know. They'll have to um, do a few more things like the caulking, the painting, stuff like that. But that stuff shouldn't take too long. I feel like that's the part that moves kind of fast. The hardest part for me is doing all the measurements. I am practicing. I'm trying to learn the tape measure better and you know, it's just something that takes time and experience. And I feel like the more I work on woodworking, the better and better I will get. Um, I feel like this project went a lot faster than the one in my bedroom and my bathroom. If you missed either one of those videos, I'll link them below. But I did something similar in my bedroom and the bathroom. But this time I decided to do it with the board on the bottom, an extra board on the top just to give it some more I don't know my like character and a pretty look so i'm really happy with the way it's turning out like i mentioned earlier just the top boards were nailed in so i could still move around the bottom half and i made sure to take my level go through and level out each of these boards you will notice that there are some larger gaps in some areas once again that's just because my walls are a little bit off but whenever you caulk everything and smooth it all out you will never know and it looks really really nice and seamless All right, so right here, this is just some white spackling that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, actually. It was really inexpensive, and I'm just using a old gift card to fill in these holes and all of the other holes and gaps that are all along the trim work. Sweet and you care about my night 
but I'm sobering up. Originally, I was going to keep this accent wall white, but after getting it all painted white, I realized that it was just too much white in my house. I love white. I love white and bright, but, you know, whenever it starts to become a little bit too much, it's just too stark on the eyes. So I ended up going back to Lowe's and getting a new paint color, and I will share that in just a little bit. So I'm just going to speed this up, show you how it looks white in case this is, you know, more your style. However, I'm going to be going in with a green, so stay tuned. Right now I'm standing in a corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh So I purchased this very large frame from Walmart. It was around $18, which is kind of on the pricier side, but I was on a time crunch. I really, really wanted a very big frame, but it did not come with a matted um, background. So I decided to buy a white poster board and just make one myself. And then I also went by Home Goods a few like nights ago, and I found these really inexpensive frames for $6. They were marked down because of the frame coming apart, and I just hot glued it together added a simple nail and they were fixed good as new all right so i am in mid project and i am loving the wall i love the picture frames i love everything about it but i feel like the wall is too white like there's too much white going on i feel like i need a color i need like a soft sage green or like um like a dark tan i need something it, it's too white so I'm gonna run to Lowe's and see if they can make me a paint color. I actually called the Sherwin-Williams store and they said that they were out of the base to make a color called Pigeon by Faro and Ball. I really love that green, um, but they do not have it available. So I'm gonna try and see if Lowe's can do it. If Lowe's cannot, then I'm gonna call Home Depot. I'm gonna make this color happen or I'm gonna end up making a color myself because I do have a can of green paint and I might be able to just add like some white to it and make my own. <laughs> but we're gonna run it to Lowe's and see if they can make me a pretty sage green. All right, y'all. So I just went by Lowe's and I got the color Pigeon. Um, this is a, hold on, it's trying to focus. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's gorgeous. Oh my God. Goodness, I love it. Now I'm moving Okay, so I went in with this masking tape and I kind of like wedged it in between the wood and the wall so I could really get a nice, clean, seamless line. Well, the tape stuck way too good. So I had to have Dylan come over with a razor knife and cut the tape out. Um, but now it's time for the best part, the decorating. Also, don't mind the shiny spots on the wall. 
I bought paint to touch up the walls, but I bought the wrong sheen so you can see it. Oh well, I'll fix it later. But I'm just adding some simple frames up here of some family photos. I'm gonna add a pretty vase that I recently thrifted and painted. And I'm gonna show you some before and afters. All right, so that is going to be it for this dining room makeover. I really hope you guys enjoyed. You can see here in the background, I've kind of moved the frames around a little bit and I'll probably continue to rearrange them until I have that moment where I'm like, yes, that's it. You know, sometimes it takes time, but um, so far this is what I got and I really like the way it looks. So I just wanted it to thank you guys so much for all the love and support here on my channel in 2021. I cannot believe we are about to roll into a new year. It's crazy. But um, thank you guys for giving me one of the best years on YouTube. I, I hit my goal of 100K. I also hit my goal of working on a project, a large project outside of my house. And it just feels so good to hit these goals. And it's all because of you. If you weren't watching, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And I hope that you guys know how much I appreciate every one of you so very much. I don't even have the words. I don't even know what to say. I feel like I say thank you so much, but it's just never enough. But I hope you really do know that y'all mean the world to me. So thank you. I hope you have an amazing New Year's with your family and I will see you guys next year.